Hi, I'm Tim Roble, and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Back on the Humvee Overland Project, and I'm using this Herculiner truck bud liner. Not sponsored by them. Got this off of Amazon. It was about $92. I think now it's up to $98. Usually comes in in about a day. So uh, for myself, I know I'm going to need another can, so I'll finish this video up and go in. But uh, this is the birch plywood that started off just like this. And before we get the rain coming in the next couple of days and all that moisture in the air, I just wanted to get it treated. So I run one coat around the edge and then um, I do the tops. What I'm looking for is kind of a uniform, uh, kind of a matte finish. If you can see right there, there's a glob that I need to work on. And... Um, so once you kind of get this laid out, when you see something that doesn't look good, this is about an hour in. Um, I've got all these one side covered and then all of the perimeter. But as you see, I usually use a stick and that just allows me to get in a little more. I wear gloves, although that's hard to do with the uh, filming right now. So I'll just run this and I'm just looking for an even texture. And if I did a drip or something on it. And another thing, when you're doing the perimeter, it'll tend to leak down on the bottom side. And so make sure you kind of wipe that off so it doesn't leave a ledge. So when you flip it over the next day. But I'm just kind of looking for an even finish. And I'm deciding right now if I'm going to do another um, coat like flip this over tomorrow do another coat and then do another coat the next day you know like so there's two full complete dry cycles of coats on it but let me show you what it looks like dry and I've used this in all of my builds I use this in the box van build uh, the GMC Canyon adventure truck the big expedition truck all of these panels were done that way and right here I took a stick or a, a tube and stuck it down into the into the wood and so it peeled it up so it's super easy to patch up this right here's got a nice layer of dust on it but um i really like herculiner it's uh almost feels like it's got a rubberized particle in it like it's made out of just like oil and rubberized particles um if that makes sense now i use raptor liner also and Raptor Liner is what I have on the cab of Oscar Mike. And then this is my first roll-on uh, coat of Raptor Liner on the Humvee. And that turned out really well. You can see I got a little bit uh, where I had to bust all of that off. Um, simply just because um, the doors weren't lined up before I did that. So I got everything lined up. Everything's looking good. But Raptor Liner is another um, product. So I get a lot of people that ask me, where do you use the... Herculiner. If I was doing like a bed liner uh, and I was only going to do it black, I would do the Herculiner. Um, if I wanted a color, um, I would do the Raptor liner. Uh, they're both super durable. I think the, the Herculiner is a little bit more durable on wood. It can really take a beating and not flake off where this has got a catalyst in it and it's a little harder and it wants to flake off. So that's kind of my take on Raptor liner versus Herculiner. And I always encapsulate uh, this birch marine fly plywood with Herculiner and it turns out well. It just keeps the wood. The wood on uh, that box fan is over 14 years old and it's still in excellent shape. On this I'll take and I'll do uh, carpet foam is going to go over this for padding and then a nice carpet on the bottom. But it'll be waterproof, encapsulated, so um, you never have problems down the road. Questions and comments on this stuff, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more technical stuff on the builds. Just got back from King of the Hammers and uh, that was a great show. But now I'm super inspired to get back and finish up my stuff. Get my GMC Canyon sold and down the road. And uh, this will be my, end up being my daily driver. If you haven't been following this project, uh, there's going to be more updates on that uh, coming up this week. But it is a high-low camper. So what you see there, the top is going to raise up 30 inches on uh, four electric linear actuators. So that should be super cool. But uh, back to this. I'm super happy how it's turned out. Now the only thing to do is just clean up and let everything dry. Once you open the can, you're kind of going to seal it again. Um, it'll probably be good for tomorrow. Um, 
but not too much longer after that. It's good if you're gonna open a can a gallon. Um, and this is right here, what you see here, all of this wood is about a half a gallon so far. So that one gallon's gonna do this side and the other side as well as two coats around the edge. Um, and then another thing uh, to include is they do give you a roller and a little uh, roll, roller handle and a foam roller. I uh, do this stick and you can see that that stick has done a lot of rolling of Herculiner. They also give you a spare. Let's go back here in the shop. They give you a spare one for the, the next day as well as a Scotch-Brite pad and a little paintbrush for things that you, you can't do. That all comes in the uh, the kit. Um, see, anything else? Oh, I didn't speak of, pull that roller off of that um, assembly. Uh, take this, when you're done, I'm gonna pour what's left of that back in the can and then take that roller off of that barrel um, and then make sure it's still free spinning and that way you can reuse it the next day. If you leave it on like that, um, this stuff is like a serious glue and you're not going to get it off. You'll have to use a whole new new roller. Questions, comments, thoughts, uh, hit me up down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate you. If you would take the time to subscribe, like, and comment. That's going to be it for now. I'm Tim Robel, and I'll catch you here next time.